Hi guys, so I have um, a delivery that came in. I guess it came in yesterday because I just realized today's Sunday, even though I knew yesterday was Saturday. I don't know. I was like, oh, let me check the mail. <laughs> and this was there. Um, so if I have links, well, I will have a link to Impression Obsession IO stamps in the description box. There will be affiliate link, which means I'll make a small commission if you use that link to jump over to their site. Um, Again, you can click on the title. It depends on what you're using to watch this video. You can click on the title, you can click on the little triangle, you can click where it says, it says show more right under my disclaimer. Um, you know, any way you get into the description box, that's how to do it. So, and I will quickly say that every time, I guess, because people ask very often how to get into the description box. So hopefully if you're an old YouTuber, you know, it's just down there. Just click uh, to open that up. So I got this stuff. Um, so these things are all from there. Um, Halloween sale. They have 25% off the whole Halloween category. So like I said, Impression Obsessions hardly ever gives like a, a percentage off on top coupon. But what they do is like they do category sales like every two weeks or every month. They'll have a whole category 25% off. And they have free shipping with a kind of a low threshold. And then um, they have a sales section. They have discontinued section. They have sections on stamps or dies that aren't perfect. And I don't know what that means. So I've never <laughs> purchased from that section. But I, I honestly don't know if it just means it's maybe that maybe something in the stamps that doesn't stamp right or I, I don't know. But in the section that has the free dies with the stamp set, that one I like. And it's always uh, just throw the stamp set in your cart and then the dies will come in for you. You don't have to include the dies also in your cart so you don't get charged for them. They'll just include them, okay? So I'm really excited because a lot of the stuff is Halloween stuff and it was super cute. A lot of dyes is what I remember ordering. And um, also today is the last day of the uh, Spellbinders sale. So if there's anything that you want from that little dollar, you know, sale they're having going on, make sure to pick that up. Um, and I'll have links, you know, to that also in the description box. Okay, so, you know, I love their background stamps. I need to use these more. I really like these for cards, but for like mixed media projects and stuff. And this one's called Spooky, I believe. Yeah. And if you look at it, it's just kind of creepy. It looks like it has faces, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just like a Baroque pattern. It's pretty cool. And the the uh, image that they have with this one, like the demo, I guess, picture, they're using it for a Christmas card. It looks like snowflake background or something, you know? So really cute, different ways to use it. Uh, these are six inch car, um, backs and um, I think they used them around like 15 bucks and then 25% off or whatever it is. So uh, really cool. I will try and Use these very soon so you guys will have an idea. This one was so cute. I'm trying to put this to the side here. Look at this. They have two that are similar. This one's more like a happy little pumpkins, little jack-o'-lanterns. And they have another one that's similar, but it's a little more spooky, I guess. Um, again, I mean, look how classic he looks. So cute. And again, uh, this is this side here. You can put this on any... Um, larger uh, stamping uh, tool that you might have. They do have this big guy, and I have it... Where is it? They have this big stamping tool. Um... Uh, it's around here somewhere. It has a handle and when you stamp you can just kind of use it that way But again, just a larger stamping tool would help because again, it's this is inch stamp background stamp Do I have any other ones? Okay, I think that's it for now because again There are more things I want to pick up, but I was like, okay I don't have to pick it up all at once um, So I picked up a few things at a time, but there are more backgrounds that were in that section that I thought were super cute This is the um, oh this one is called Hand carved Halloween again. I'll have links to like maybe some of the bigger items the trick is to grow up without getting old. And that's a Franklin Lloyd Wright saying or quote, and that's what it says here, but you can verify that on your own. Sometimes I know people will have quotes and it's attributed to the wrong person, but really nice size. So that's really nice for a card front or however you want to use it. That's a good size um, um, sentiment. And it's called the trick is. And then this little gal, I just saw her, I thought she was so cute. So this is, it just says E12254. But it's a cute little um, witchy poo with their little curly hair. Love it. Miranda's going to love that. Oh, this is the other background. I was like, I thought I got another background. I knew it wasn't another big... Well, I didn't know that. But I knew I got another background. This one is L14331. And it is like Halloween kind of wording. Thrice the branded cat hath mewed. <laughs> Thrice and one... This is creepy. The hedge pike wind. I don't know. Maybe wind. Hmm. I don't know. But pretty cool. I, I just thought it was really cute. And then it talks about lizards. What leg and owlet's wing for a charm of powerful trouble. Very cute. Love it. I think it'll be fun for a background. And then you can use that for anything, right? Like the love background that I use from um, uh, Local King that I use pretty often. Uh, let's see here. 
Um, this one, this one is actually clearance, but also in the 25% off section. So they have some things in there that are just there because they're Halloween, but they might've been on clearance too, but they're in that section. So this one was even cheaper than, obviously it says 15, but it, I think it was less than even the 25% off because that's what I recall. Really the reason I got this one, I do love candy corn. I know I'm a weirdo. I like the little pumpkins though. And I think we talk about this every year and you guys will agree or disagree. <laughs> and uh, we have calm, keep calm and eat candy corn, but really I like it for this one. The four main food groups is candy, candy canes, candy corn, and syrup by Buddy the Elf, which of course is from the Elf movie, which I love. Uh, I love you more than candy corn, which is easy for some people to say, right? <laughs> uh, not a lot of people like candy corn. All right, then these guys, is, is um, these are dyes. So sometimes when you look at something, you're not sure if it's a dye or not, it will say like, um, in the name of the product, like dye or D-I, and that's so you know, and also, in the description it will say it's a die. So these are little lantern, Halloween lanterns. How cute are those? Oh, adorable. Um, they're a pretty good size, let me see. Uh, from the very top to the bottom, they're about two and a quarter inches. I just thought it'd be cute to make a card with like all three of them on there and then maybe like the sentiment or whatever. Just, they're just cute. Or even in the background of like a, with that little witch girl, have one hanging in the background, however is. This one was too cute. Witch line. I don't know if this one's still available because I, I, I think the last time I went to get a link for it in another video because I had mentioned the sale was on. I think there was only one left. I'm not sure. But, which doesn't mean they don't bring more in, but uh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a card front on her own. Um, she is almost four inches tall. I guess it depends on where you're going with it. <laughs> and she's about three and a half, maybe a little more wide. I love this. So I had mentioned it to you guys, I said they had some really cute dyes that had witches. So, and then this one here, how cute is this? Six witches, and it has six witches, and it has a broom that's by itself, a little hat that's by itself, and then you have your little shadowy witches, which I thought was super cute to go along with this uh, stamp. Again, I'll have the links to this one since it doesn't really have a name, but I think it's called like Witch's Spell or something. I can't remember. And this is from the section. Again, if you buy the stamp, you get the dies for free. And this one was inexpensive. I think uh, if it was 15, maybe 18 bucks. But if you can see, they normally want 20 something dollars for this, the die set, I guess, because there's a lot of dies on here. But I mean, that's kind of high. So get your stamp set. And this one I showed you guys um, in the last last sale because I thought it was really cute. So this is under the sale section. OK, and this is in the 20% off Halloween. This is in the sales section and look at this the little card and it has a, it's a little envelope and it has its own die for it it has pretty much a dies for everything in here so then you have your little um uh bouquet and then you have your little uh flowers that you can then cut out you know with a die and layer them on there i think that's just adorable um even has this that the die for like this guy which you think you would just stamp it because it's like a cancellation super cute um it looks like it might even have the die for this. It looks like this. Interesting. Uh, the little heart love mail. Oh, this is so cute. So, um, yeah, I just think this is really cute. And this one is called Love Letters. And this one had sold out and then they came back. So, like I said, I, I'm assuming they just look at their stock and do what they need to do. But, all right, guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. I don't have a review today because the day kind of got away from me uh taking off that polish and i know i normally wouldn't want to make a video that's just about nails and not have a craft video but i really had to get that polish off and they were outgrown and i'm like i gotta do it right now so i did that and then matt and i went to look at some new chairs for our dining table because the old chairs have like bonded leather and they always peel and they're the worst i had a whole couch that was bonded leather that i picked up in georgia a long time ago what was the name of the Tur turners no, Turner sounds... I can't remember. It was some some furniture company that they have basically out there. I can't remember the name right now. And so then we got more chairs that were bonded leather. And so now I went to look at equipales, which are like Mexican cool guy chairs. And they're comfortable and they're awesome. And they're normally like kind of outdoorsy, but they're so cool. I'll have the name here for you if you want to look it up so you see what I'm talking about, equipales. And so, yeah, we got those special ordered, which is not something I've ever done, but it's not like, oh, so fancy. It's just because um, they have different styles and the guy's like, we can make it with whatever leather and whatever, you know, style you want. So, um, so we ordered those and I kept my table because I love my table and I didn't want to spend money on a table that I don't need. So uh, that was kind of fun. Um, just kind of choosing the stuff and sitting in the chairs and doing all that kind of stuff that we haven't been doing because... 
you know, we're staying home. So anyhow, thanks for watching guys. I hope you're doing well. I have the links to some of the larger arms, like I said, and then just the links over to Impression Obsession or IO Stamps. And then don't forget Spellbinders ending today. Along with, I believe, the 50% off the holiday stuff on Art Impressions is ending today too. So I'll have all that info in the description box. Hope you're all doing well. Having a great weekend. I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I want to do a live video tomorrow just because I said I would do one at the end of the month and um, we're nearing the end of the month here. And tomorrow the kids get out early. So I think I'm going to set one up for... Oh yeah, yeah let's think. 11 o'clock tomorrow. My time. So that's uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, okay? So I don't know what the title will be, but it'll show you there somewhere, you know, that uh, a live is coming up. And we'll just chat, or maybe we'll make something. I don't know what we'll do. But tomorrow, 11 o'clock West Coast time, or 2 o'clock East Coast time. And we'll just hang out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye now.